Hey everyone, welcome to Raw Tarot Reading. I'm your tarot reader right here. Thank you so much guys for your love and support. And today we're going to be doing another interesting topic on no contact here. And uh, there's no specific uh, relationship or connection that we are looking into. This can be anyone, this can be any of person that you have in mind right now when there's no contact situation so we're gonna be uh, looking further deep uh, on what is their current what are their current feeling right now what are their intention moving forward within this connection so let us see so this is going to be a live shuffle today i'm going to be doing so i've already pulled out three selections for you so the first selection we have here enlightenment the second we have your victim and third we have your joy so you can select based on the image here or the wording here whichever that resonates or attracting you right now but let us start with Hi, the enlightenment pile one this is where we selected this enlightenment pile here so let us see what is the person that you have in your mind that's no contact right now it's thinking or what is their current feeling and what is their intention right now so right away with this enlightenment card part one what i could see some type of a light lighten lighten of a burden here something could have happened recently with this person but let us see probably they could have started to surrender the situation here probably in the past they was trying to not to surrender the situation they was trying to control or trying to um hold back but let us see here pal one we have your serendipity here number 18 like they are moving towards this connection especially in terms of your heart i'm seeing your heart is opening up here opening up here we have milk and honey like they are seeing all the possibilities with this situation here or in this connection here in the past probably they was like kind of closed off they was like very defensive they does not want to be opened towards this connection here they do not want to be receptive towards this connection here we have blessed year number 22 probably they are being guided here to move like to be opened or they are kind of being shown the abundance or what will be the outcome here probably they have like have seen something that they could not able to see in the past here and we have imagine here number 20 yes for me back of the deck we have a treasure island yes for me this imagine card is kind of uh showing as though they could have dream about this connection or they could have dream about you recently yes and they might have received some type of uh, message or something uh, about this connection here that that they have finally seen that you are this abundance here you are this treasure island and right now i'm seeing that they are kind of being open for this connection here number 18 is very prominent here number 18 this can be a date birthday date of birth here or some type of a number which is very significant for this part here number 18 but let us look more we have the the miser here yeah they was kind of holding back in the past here probably they was holding back because of some type of a stability here they was afraid to let go of the stability here probably the work they have worked very hard to gain the stability here yes right now i am seeing that they have gained some type of a confidence some type of a self-esteem here some type of a courage here they could have uh, find the inner strength for them to move towards you towards this connection here like something they have to start to trust start to take risk on this connection here yep yeah um with this last card i am seeing they the person 
that you are asking about probably in the past i am saying that they probably could be very much rigid in terms of their mindset here they could be very condition based here so right now i'm saying that they are kind of opening up because they no longer want to be in the energy of left out in the cold it probably this no contact situation that happened between you both is kind of taught them a lot i'm saying that they are coming out from this energy they are they want to participate they want to have this solid commitment with you like the solid foundation with you they do not want to hold back anymore yes we have your possibilities you might want to check angel number 442 uh, pile one you might have an additional message there i'm saying that they currently are could have have seen these possibilities here possibilities here that's the reason why they are wanting to come towards you right now to move forward with this connection here yes this can be through meditation or through dream here right now i'm seeing that they want to work on this connection here like they are kind of want to break uh the silent the silence between you both the no contact between you both probably uh pal one you've been no contact with this person for a while right now and let us see right now i'm saying that uh, this person that you are asking for they are willing to be open for a communication or they are willing to listen for what you have to say probably in the past they just could have ghosted you they could have just hold back some type of a communication from you here yes you are this serene garden you are the serendipity to them right now they are kind of acknowledging and they want to come towards you this can be some of you that this person will come forward to meet you this person will travel to meet you here so can, let us see what is your intention here we have message here number 45 yes right away i could see they want to send you some type of a message here this will be a direct message here there's no one is involved here there's no intermediate there's no middle person involved here this person would like to directly uh, come to meet you or to send you this communication here for one and we have here the seat yes in the past year i'm saying this deceit is not with you but this probably is within them this could be some type of a self-sabotage that they could have done here by holding back the communication from you like could have by holding back they could have attempt to end this com um, connection with you because they feel like they will not be able to move forward in the past whoever selected power one that the person that you have in the mind could be very much materialistic or they was trying they could have give more of their energy towards earthly things towards more to uh, inheritance assets more to financial things more to material things here so right now i'm seeing that they are kind of uh marking a new focus here they are kind of uh, realigning their focus here towards you because they could know that you are these uh, blessings in your life this is not necessarily it will be by them like this universe the spirit guides is kind of like realigning their focus towards you and i am seeing that now they have marked the focus on you and they want to yes we have a vision here number eight strong scorpio energy i'm picking up strong scorpio and sagittarius energy that i'm picking up here you are this vision here like you are they could have been kept on kept on uh been reminded of you they could have dreamed a lot about you yes invisible here with this invisible card what is i'm saying that they don't feel they are they are alive anymore like they don't feel lively anymore with this card meaning like they don't feel excited they don't feel the passion anymore they only able they feel that they are fulfilled they feel as though they are very hopeful towards the life towards the world here uh, whenever whenever they can feel your presence around them the moment that you are not around them that you are away from them they feel as though they are invisible like 
um, they really does not want to end this connection with you they really do not want to put this connection to an end here probably uh, they felt as though this connection is fruit of last year probably they feel as though it's just a passion based connection here they did not understand the intensity of this connection here in the past here part one but right now i'm seeing that they could have been enlightened here they could have able to understand the intensity of this connection here so let us see what is their current feeling towards you let us see their current feeling is that they really want to fight for this connection here they finally got this mental clarity they really want to fight for this connection because they really do not want to be left out in the cold anymore they really do do not like this uh cold treatment anymore and they really do not want to be uh have some type of a boundaries between you both they really does not like this no contact situation here probably this person really missed you for a very long period of time but they've been holding back here yes I'm seeing that they are walking away from some type of a situation or people here that they could have invested a lot here. But let us see. Yep. Uh, let us see part one from where they are walking away here. They are kind of walking away from some type of a situation here which was holding them back here. This could be some type of a sticky to situation here. Yeah. Okay, we have a five of wands again this could be people there could be other people involved in the situation here that could be some type of a community some type of a group of people is involved here i'm seeing that this person is kind of moving away is traveling or kind of literally relocating or moving away because whenever these people are present in this connection or around them they will not be able to move they they are not free to move make a move here they are not free to take an action here they feel as though they are kind of stuck here in the mud and they don't have that necessary tools for them to contact you so the only way is for them to move away from this uh, group of people here whenever they are around this group of people the the least that they can do is for them to just stalk you online for them to manipulate the situation by just acting as though you don't really matter to them part one so uh so right now they i'm saying that they are kind of moving away although they could have invested a lot with this group of people here so they are kind of like surrendering the situation yeah they are surrendering the situation to the universe they are have taken a new step here new way forward to come towards you we have here king of wands and queen of cups here probably this is the king of wands and you are this queen of cups here a strong water sign here you might have in your birth chart cancer scorpio or pisces here and this person will could have a very strong fire sign on their birth chart here so i am saying that this king of wands have their eyes towards this queen of cups here probably in the past you was very much giving towards this person but this person kind of really did not appreciate it the love the unconditional love that you were showing towards them but let us see more what they are feeling towards you right now part one yeah we have a rebellion card here they are kind of being they want to be rebellious here they want to rebel here they want to come out from their comfort zone here or they want to destroy all the boundaries that they even they have created in the past between you because i am seeing with this card if you can see there is a flower kind of like blooming around this uh, wall here this well here uh, yeah and there is a door is closed off and i'm seeing that probably they really does not like and i'm seeing that the love is still blooming regardless how far or how much they are closed off towards this connection here probably this is a very much high high spiritual connection here that you are dealing with yes 
your memories is kind of haunting them they kind of aware there is the unfinished business between you both here and this person really want to work towards this connection here yeah you are this devotion here you are kind of very devoted here some uh for far one this person been enlightened by your love i would say right away with this devotion card and queen of cups here what could have kind of initiated this person the initiation could have started with your devotion here some type of a devotion that they could have seen this can be could have they could have stuck or how you persevere when they could have ghosted you is kind of uh, attracted back them towards this connection here i'm saying we have a mushroom here yeah this love is kind of uh could have grown in quiet in the background here to the point that they also wasn't really aware here and yeah they really want to come out from this uh boundaries here Re they really don't want to have a boundaries any type of a restriction anymore yeah they want to deep dive in this to in this connection with you so let us see is there anything else by one that you really need to know towards this person here that they want to let you know or what will be the current feeling so we have here this person is always stalking you this person is really stalking you very badly here very intensely here we have here gossip and rumors probably this person was afraid for a gossip and rumors here and we have your family and legacy probably they were sacrificing this connection for a family sake for some type of a family situation here uh, but right now i am seeing that they are willing to sacrifice here there could be some type of a legacy is involved here they was holding back because of they want to co uh, continue with the family legacy here for one let us see we have here i'm not a second choice here this could be your energy probably that could be what uh, they could have picked up or they able to understand that you are not a second choice here or like you want them to treat you right here we have openness here that they are being open to receive your love right now they are being very open right now they are open to receive your love here so what else we have here power one control freak yes this person was controlling the situation they was literally controlling the situation here because they was afraid to let loose here yes there is some type of a hidden truth unspoken word probably this person just si uh, kind of like ghosted you right now there could be some type of a hidden truth that they want to let you know this is love at first sight here and what else that they have we have hiding their feelings we have here they could have probably hide their feelings in the past from you and we have your problematic and concerned in the past probably they could have seen this connection very much problematic and concerned here and right now i'm seeing that they are being very positive minded here they are kind of wanting to accept this blessing here in the past the ego or some type of a pride was stopping them or they could have been lasting over you probably they thought this this connection is full of last year so right now they are seeing this connection entirely a different way like you are this full package here you are this self-love you are this wholeness here that you are very selfless yeah they want to ascend with you we have here on top of the deck here we have ascension here they want they want to prepare for a union here and we have here some good shit is about to happen here so they really want some good thing to happen between you both here so this is what i have for you for this person here for pile one I really hope this reading resonates with you. Please let me know. I will see you in my next reading, guys. Bye bye. Welcome pile number two. This is for whoever selected this victim card. So let us see uh, about the person that you have in your mind right now that is there's in no contact situation with you. What is their true feeling? What is their current feelings? And what their intention right now towards this connection here? 
so let us see right away someone feel that they have been victimized here yes some type of a justice is being required in this connection they feel as though justice is required here probably yes uh, or they want to make the right decision the, they want to make uh, do right right to you because you are this no place like home here like you, they can't they that you are this home to with to them here they want to do right by you here probably they are kind of in that uh in the state of cleaning up right now they could be kind of cleaning up all the mental messes that they have right now they kind of stopping the overthinking and trying to make a decision right now but they want to make a very much fair and justice type of a decision they want to make right towards you probably you are this victim here you could have been victimized in this situation here or in this connection here yes they kind of feeling as to this connection is very much fated here guys this is a very much fated connection although they probably have a lot of options here whoever that you are asking for right now they could be having a very strong air sign here gemini libra or aquarius here this person have a lot of options available to them however they have their eye only on you they really want this connection to happen or a strong leo energy that i'm picking up even to them they are also kind of wondering why they are been keep on coming towards you they are kept on being pulled towards you but at the moment they feel as though they are being they are being pulled they are being pulled towards you or they are being cornered right now as though they have to bring some type of a justice they have to take some type of a justice type of action here they have to brief justice to you probably uh to that could be the intention right now i'm saying some type of a karma is taking place in the situation here probably the person that you are having in your mind also right now they also unable to really understand fully what is happening around them but what they can know right now is that they have to give some type of justice towards you we have your main male yes they have to step up here power one uh, sorry power two you really have to uh, this person really have to step up to be this main male here For this particular part, this can be even you. It's, it can go vice versa here, guys. Because for the pile 1, I don't really felt that this way. But for pile 2, I feel as though this can be you, the one who have to give a justice to this person here. To someone that you could have... Uh, you could cause them to be a victim in some type of a situation here. They kind of been trapped in some type of a situation here they could have been caged in some type of a situation here and um you could have tricked them that's some type of a trickery here because this in this chakra card this dragon here reminds or will come under the trickery card it kind of reminds me so there's some type of a trickery some type of a manipulation could have happened in this connection here and this person whoever this can be you or the person that you are dealing with could be the victim of the situation here and somebody have to step up have to take up the role here to be this main male here to give an equal give and take here there's some type of a equal give and take it's required in the situation here and uh due to that there is this tension is really building up i would say pal to whoever the role can reverse here so i'm saying that the person who really have to step up is kind of really in this despair energy they kind of really are feeling lost they really are grieving mourning which is they really does not know what to do because there is some type of a loyalty is on stake right now they have to make the right choice they have to take a very much right decision here yes they are so much stuck in their mind right now because yes a strong karma strong justice is in play right now probably this person could be having a strong saturn written on their birth chart right now they are going through a saturn written right now so i'm seeing that there's some type of a justice is required 
in this connection here so yes they have this connection is kind of a blessing for them they probably there's some type of a trigger a trickery could have happened that kind of caused some type of uh, ending there in this connection here and one of them could have traveled or moved away from this connection this probably could have caused some type of a uh, controversy some type of a rumor some type of a judgment call required here some type of a secret is involved in this connection here or in this uh, connection here and there could be a lot of abundance is a lot of achievements a lot of progress is on stake right now so whoever that meant to take a decision here this person kind of really put an end in order for a new beginning to come up to be created here but this person is really in in a in a despair energy because they're really not sure on what to do here probably this person kind of afraid for some type of a community some type of a society is involved here some type of a status is involved here but i just look more this is what i'm picking up here yes some type of a new adventures indeed is required here someone required to take a leap of faith here leap of faith here but this person is really afraid not sure on how to do it is things are really moving very slow in order for them to shred the old thing for them to come out from their shell for them to move forward they are taking one step at a time because some type of a stability is on stake right now this can be some type of a commitment or some type of a stability is on stake right now but yes they really have to speed up i'm seeing something is boiling up some type of things is happening probably they feel the magnetic pull there could be a very strong passionate pull between um, you and this person that you are asking for someone or both of you kind of craving for each other i would say yes some type of a craving here some type of a passionate craving here it's it is definitely involved here or you or this person kind of really stalking each other each other or one of you are stalking the other person on on social media online here let us see what is the stability is on safe right now for this person here yes which is very much unhealthy they really have to let go this stability that they really holding back is kind of full of conflict it's kind of really poking them but they kind of afraid to let go they are holding back to embrace this unknown because for them it's very much unknown but it's full of toxic here we have uh, toxicity probably the person that they are dealing with is someone who is a uh, strong yeah fight uh air element someone who's very cool someone who's very cutthroat here probably the person that they are dealing with could be someone who could be a very great manipulator could be someone who's very argumentative type of person here so let us see what their intention here or what they are planning to do in this connection here or you met you sh you need to do we have your eyes priestess of spirit here like you are being guided here while you are sleeping this is some type of a divine intervention for sure for this particular pal i'm saying the divine is kind of sending you a lot of message a lot of sign about this connection about this uh reconciliation i would say some type of a reconciliation is meant to happen in this connection here yes i'm saying there is some type of understanding required in order for this reconciliation to happen both of you meant to surrender in this connection here should not hold back some both of you or one of you are intentionally holding back probably because of some type of oath this is definitely someone there is a third party connection here third party situation here someone is uh, involved in a marriage here in some type of a commitment here they are kind of holding back because the loyalty is on stake probably the person is a very loyal person they're probably thinking on how to break this oath that they have taken here they don't really have the strength to do this uh yeah it's kind of like going against their moral value their principle that they could have hold for so long 
this is kind of a challenge for their individuality here right? they have to let go yeah it is the situation is really requiring them to be brave for them to collect the inner strength for them to overcome this situation here so let us quickly see what this person has to say here just one i've been called to quickly pull up two two or three cards from this deck we have here i replay our conversation over and over i'm starting to understand our connection here i'm picking up this could be you guys you the one who who required to make a move here you are the one who is kind of involved in this commitment here i wish i had treated you better for this pal too and i'm not available i'm picking up my viewer you are the one is not available here in this connection here but let us see what is the, the, the other person the other person's current 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 feeling towards this connection here the other person is currently is kind of holding a very strong boundaries here the walls is really high up because this other person aware fully that they could be a lot of people are envious or jealous of this connection between you both the other person really do not want to go through this uh, illusion because some type of illusion has been eliminated in from their end so they really kind of being very defensive in a good way i would say that they really do not want to uh, go through this situation again we have totality which is a lot of uh, trust is involved here this person really do not want to put their trust on anyone who's involved in this situation anymore because they feel as though their trust has been taken for granted here yes this can be some type of a projection some type of a confusion here probably you both this could be a situation shape here probably you both don't really confess your actual feeling to each other yet so i'm saying that whatever that you guys perceive about each other is, is fully based on each other's projection here like both of you really have to come out from both of your some type of a self-limiting belief here i'm saying that right now both of your way is being illuminated the clarity has been shown the path has been shown like the destiny has been presented right in front of you it's about you both are taking an action here this connection is both of your wish fulfillment here but uh the other person is kind of uh relaxing because they feel as though they are the one who has been victimized this person is taking things slowly because they think that they don't they suppose the other person supposed to be approaching them yes they are trusting the divine they kind of letting they are surrendering the situation here because they feel as though they have done their part here yes they have done the part here so i'm seeing they kind of like waiting for you i'm believing i'm picking up you are the one they are request they are requiring you to make a move towards this connection here there is some type of a cycle is required definitely required to end in this connection so that this connection to be manifested or to be solidified here how to so let us see what else you guys need to know here yes one of you are in denial unable to accept yes we have here self-sabotage here because of a fear of the ego lack of confidence here insecurity lack of boundaries here one of you are definitely doing or putting these boundaries here we have a legal matter here definitely some type of a career some type of a contract commitment due to that there's a lot of stagnation is involved here yes definitely there is some type of a certain is involved here yes someone really have to cut the ties and move on i'm picking up this could be the viewer here pal two you are the one are required to move forward in order for you to receive what you want because this person is your anchor this person is gonna be like your anchor this is what you've been seeking for so you guys really have to stop playing the game here but it can be vice versa also guys take whichever way that it resonates with you yes for 
if you are the one who are in this connection that you are the one who committed i am saying that the person that you are asking for for them you are the moon and the sun this person really deeply respect you love you this person think think very highly of you but you are in a very denial state because you think that you are not worthy for this love yes it's a self-limiting belief it's some type of a self-limiting belief that's what is stopping you from moving forward towards this connection here from expecting there's a co-workers is involved here probably you know this person or you could have connected to work here we have your peer pressure here there's a clear peer pressure is coming off here probably you are afraid for the arguments the fight the rumors the gossip is all about due to the peer pressure here yes you have to put a certain things to an end here in order for a new connection to be reborn some type of a it can be a very tragic ending here but it's gonna liberate you it's gonna give a lot of freedom here probably you are kind of going through a health issue here your health will be improved here the moment you end this toxic current situation yes the current situation that you are dealing with is kind is very much karmic here it's full of deception here a lot of resentment it's not good for your health here yes you really have to settle things down in order for you to move forward with this connection here yes you have to take a final verdict of this connection here because you are too codependent towards the karmic connection here so you have to make a final verdict verdict here you have to take it pal two so this is what i have for you i really hope this reading resonates please let me know i will see you on my next reading guys bye, -bye. Hey, welcome pal number three this is for whoever selected this joy card so let us see about the person that you have no contact with what are their current feeling what their intention right now i'm seeing that someone is kind of like uh working on themselves right now they are on the on the path of self-healing right now on self-love probably you might have selected pile two here i'm seeing so let us see Part three yeah what is your person that you have in your mind right now that you have no contact with what are their current feeling what they feel about this connection what is their intention here so we have here the empress they are so much in their power right now they are kind of uh they kind of have finally have seen or understand their self-worth right now they are so much in their power not they are not really thinking about this connection or about you but they are at the moment is working on themselves they are so much in their power right now they kind of been in this uh, divine feminine energy whereby they are in this still energy but they are kind of attracting things to come to them yes some type of a deep transformation that happened to them recently that's what have caused this big major transformation here for them to understand their self-worth here yes there's a lot of contemplation that happened probably this person really con uh, thinking to mend this connection here they are trying to mend this uh, this connection with you but they feel as though you are very rigid it's like you are you will not uh, you will not understand them that you will not respond to them that you won't work together with them so they kind of like trying to attract or they are trying to attract you in the right energy here i'm saying whoever selected this uh pile here probably the person that you are seeking for is very much uh spiritual the person that you are uh, asking for that you are not in contact with they could be very much psychic here i'm saying that they are really working on themselves here but i don't see that they are trying to contact you or they don't want to contact you through like in 3d maybe they are trying to transmute the energy so that they can make you to change her yes they are trying to manifest you 
they are definitely manifesting you they are manifesting this connection to to reignite you they want to reconnect with you but they do not want to come forward they want you to come to them uh, or they just want certain things to happen but not in a way like they have to come down probably they could they think that as though they have they deserve more they deserve better they or they're trying to change this the overall energy of this situation here because we have five of wands probably in the past there could be a lot of arguments here this situation could have end very tragically here you guys could have have very much strong attraction here yes But one of you could have really heartbroken over this connection here. And right now the person I'm picking up, the person that you're asking of right now is trying to hold back. They are being a bit defensive right now but they are, that could be the reason why they are working on self-love right now. We have here two of pentacles. Yes they are not really sure what you are feeling right now this person is kind of really questioning what you feel about this connection any, uh, anymore like due to there's no contact at all between you both probably it's been a while you guys have communicated or you have seen each other so i'm seeing that this person really misses you a lot this person kind of reminisce all the beautiful memories that you guys have shared uh, they want victory in this connection here they really want to be with you they really want this thing to be favoring favoring you both because this person that you are asking for really have a very strong uh, emotion strong love towards you strong feelings towards you but they are not really sure about you similarly like you i believe both of you could be living in a distance i'm saying for paltry there could be this could be a test here a test here a test of fate here on this love yes you both kind of like uh, have a very less faith toward the divine or you don't really trust on the divine timing on the universe here like you guys been putting a lot of effort to make things happen right now you guys are in a separation you guys are being pushed to believe certain situation is happening so that you both can transform transformation is definitely is happening here in this connection here yes some type of a community is involved here false person is involved here probably there could be a third party is involved but this third party i am seeing definitely this third party not necessarily have to be someone that you either one of you are connected this third party can be a third party like a family member this can be a close friend this can be a cousin this can be anyone there could be someone who kind of cause some type of a key or some type of a test test in this connection so i'm saying that both of you kind of chose certain things due to that this connection failed and you guys were separated like you guys meant to be together if when you if you guys were together if you guys have made a different choice in the past year things would have been different here but right now i'm saying that you guys both of you are meant to go back from 37 to 35 i'm saying that you guys have to like go back to go through some type of a transformation some type of a ego death so that you guys can come back together here this definitely about some type of a third party interference is definitely here so that you guys can come back together i am seeing uh, with this 39 probably you guys will be meeting up soon due to some type of a uh, event here this can be some type of a celebration is involved here probably that's what this person is kind of thinking uh, yes there is a change on change in the wind probably this is what this person's intention this person's really manifesting for a change in the wind here probably they are really wishing for a change in the wind from your perspective here as this person perceive you as this 
you do have this uh, mindset as like you just see things more to black and white here you don't really see the gray area this person really wants you to see the gray area and this person want you to change they wish for some type of a changes to happen in you so that this connection can be mended here yeah they really want to mend this connection with you because they're really hoping for they kind of uh, praying each and every day but they are holding back the communication here this person could be someone who is really wishing to co-create this connection with you probably you both are definitely very much different than each other here but this person is kind of really uh, confident that you both can co-create you guys can have a very harmonious connection but it is definitely requires some type of advancement here some type of progress is definitely required here yes a message is here probably this person is kind of waiting for a message from you pile three this person is uh, waiting for some type of a message here from your end they kind of really waiting for you to reach out to them they kind of they have prepared themselves or they are preparing themselves whenever the moment that you reach out they can communicate they can uh, talk things out to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you file three So let us see what their current feelings yes they are they are trusting you they are trusting this connection they have a lot of trust towards the divine here they feel as though this connection or the spirit guides is kind of guiding them towards you they trust that this connection will will happen between you both here that this connection will be grounded that the root will grow here that you both can gain some type of a stability from this connection here they really want to grow old with you because they they aware that whenever you guys are together there is a lot of joy like the energy of joy surrounds you both again we have a joy and joy like this person feels so happy they kind of really eagerly waiting for the moment for this person to see you this person really fascinates like this person gets speechless whenever they see you they get like really stunned when they think about you probably like you are the dream come true for this person pal three yes some type of identity definitely is involved here probably uh this person want you to identify them this person really want you to identify this connection to identify this love yes this person have seen a lot of vision here with this connection here this person have dream a lot or they have vision for a beautiful growth beautiful love story beautiful happy ending with you in this connection here part three and they want to go this thing with you so let us see what their intention towards you or on this connection here we have an inner voice we have an inner voice a high priestess energy yes you are this happiness you are this inner voice like you kind of melting them you kind of like you are this happiness in them like whenever they think about you whenever like uh, your name or even about you it's kind of like you kind of stir up some type of a deep emotion in them yes they are kind of really definitely patiently waiting for you to reach them out probably they've been patiently waiting for a very long period of time here yes but they are aware that probably this will take time but they are willing to wait to have this new beginning with you because they are aware that this new beginning will bring a lot of happiness in both of your life here yes sorry guys they definitely hoping for uh, things to happen here for the silence to break between you both they really want you to awaken here probably they feel as though you yet to awaken for this connection here they feel as though you kind of resisting like they feel as though you are resisting this connection here probably you does not want they are really not sure on how you are feeling of this connection here they feel as though you are still clinging to some type of a past here why is this clinging to the past 
yes probably there could be some type of a uh, confusion that happened some type of a uh, confusion happened probably some type of a confusion happened some type of uh, arguments could have happened between you both some type of uh, issue could have happened that this person feel like you will let go the past here so that you will so that this connection will move forward so let us see we have a chaser here probably you are afraid of this connection here probably you have this abandonment issue here part three the viewer here you kind of afraid to take a risk or you are being very strategic here because you're afraid to take a risk on this connection here or this is what they feel but they are kind kind of wanting to work on this they feel as though you are the one who's sabotaging this connection here by repetitively making a wrong choice here probably they want you to stop the pattern here that could be the expectation or the intention that they have here they really okay we have a meeting a new person here okay let's see probably there's a new person is coming up in their life here probably let us see here yeah probably uh during this separation there could be a new one new person is coming in your life here part three i'm saying yes there's a new phase here they want to rekindle this situation this connection with you but at the same time as there's no uh as you are afraid to take a leap of faith in this connection here i'm saying that they probably planning to change your mind here because there could be someone else is coming into a picture here we have a cupid arrow here there could be some type of uh, love is coming a new love is coming here probably they might want to choose to move forward with this new connection here so let us see what else that you guys need to know part three that this person really want to know or want to let you know here let us see we have here secret love or lover someone is thinking highly or feeling of you but keeping it closed off we have possessive here probably this person feels very possessive over you part three but you are not sure probably because this person is not telling you or not telling it out loud there's a seduction flirt fun temptation you are this temptation you are so seductive here for this person here uh, probably you or this person is is like uh, doing a tarot reading on you or probably you are doing towards this person here definitely social media is involved here some type of a secret admirer is involved here probably this new person that they are connecting with is is someone that they know through social media and we have here getting played here some type of a manipulation lies is definitely is involved here or at least a mind game is involved here so we see this is a perfect match this is what they perceive this connection that's how they perceive you Three as a perfect match uh, here they want the affection to be written there's a lot of things left unsaid between you both and they really want to have this heart to heart conversation with you and we have here someone is bottling up all the emotion here probably you both are kind of doing that this could be the third party that have done this that the gaslighting could have happened here that's the reason why both of you did not even like confess or have a heart to heart conversation here we have watching stalking and spying here someone is making uh probably this is, could be the new one is making a solid move towards them here they feel heartbreak due to a betrayal here and there's a soulmate connection here that they perceive you as a very their soulmate you guys have a soul tie soul contract between you both but there's a lot of cheating life involved here in this connection and lastly let us see it is caused by these haters and losers here so this is what i have for you 
part three i really hope this reading resonates with you please let me know i will see you in my next reading guys Bye bye